Um, the, the first one is around kind of the, the SPAC market. Um, so the question is, you know, do we do you think we're in a kind of a, a bubble here related to SPACs, and what could what could that do to the rest of the market? Uh, on SPACs, it, it, we have two points of view on this, meaning we we share uh, uh, optimism and concern in one. And I'll start with the concern. Uh, the compensation schemes associated with SPACs uh, really depriving the um, individual investor and uh, rewarding uh, those sponsors of the SPAC. Uh, I think that is going to receive scrutiny, it already is, from uh, the SEC, and therefore the vehicle itself probably will receive a, a lot more scrutiny than it has thus far, uh, and that may... Um, Slow, slow the pace down of a SPAC activity. Uh, but from another angle, and this would be from the innovation angle, um, while we think there are a lot of pre-IPO companies uh, uh, now able to go public effectively via an acquisition like this, uh, they many of these are, I'm not gonna say they're gonna fail outright, but in the VC world, the model there is, if you get two right out of you know uh, out of ten, you've probably you're probably going to do exceedingly well. That's not how the equity market uh, has operated historically. IPOs generally um, end up being successful companies. They may not be wildly successful, but they will they will not go bankrupt. We think there will be some accidents in the SPAC space, given given how much money has been thrown at it. I'm always concerned when I see. Uh, too much money chasing perhaps too few really good opportunities, and some of those are going to end badly. That's why research is paramount. And so our, uh, we, we, we've known many of the companies that uh, have been acquired by SPACs. We've been watching for them to go public uh, because we like their technology, their, tech, their, their positioning in the various spaces, 3D printing, drones, and so forth. Uh, uh, but um, we know that uh, uh, we know that there are a lot of specs coming out that we wouldn't touch. So that that would be my only uh, cautionary flag here, or caution flag is uh, buyer beware. Do your research. 